Hey folks, Daily Lands Blog, or let me start that more officially. This is the Daily Lands Blog for the 17th of March, 2019. I'm pretty sure that's the right date. Not 100%. Am I sure? Am I right? Yeah, Case? you're right. Because uh, it's actually the 14th. This is Thursday. Um, we shot tomorrow's Lands Blog already with Chief Peg. I went to Banff, um, so we shot Saturday's Lands Blog. I'm coming back late on Saturday night, so we now shooting Sunday's Lands Blog. Look at my arm. Let me just roll up my sleeves. One mark on the 17th. Although, I guess since we're shooting this in advance, I could have had two terrible days, and I, I'm not marking in my arm yet, right? But I'm going to go on the assumption... I'm, I'm going to be okay. Let, let, me, let me tell you what, what I have learned. Um, one tiny thing that I have learned. Because make no mistake, I have learned a lot about this stupid thing called mental, mental illness. One of the things that I talk about all the time is fight for your happiness. That everything has to be on the table. That you can't say, well, I'm not going to do this or this. When you are in a fight for your life, you've got to use any weapon. You've got to use anything at your disposal. And I can, I can talk... Um, as somebody who has has done exactly that, so every morning I take I take uh, Ciprolex uh, and Wellbutrin, and at night I take Wellbutrin. Uh, I have tons of side effects from those drugs that I don't like. As a matter of fact, I could tell you that the drugs, that drugs and me were not great buddies, but way worse than any side effect is the illness. And it has done a really life-saving, amazing job for me on the illness. But it doesn't stop there because uh, I have uh, I've had ADHD, ADD all my life. And it wasn't until my son was actually diagnosed with it that I realized, oh my gosh, that is me. Uh, I started taking Vyvanse uh, about two months ago. Vyvanse is a stimulant, one of the modern day sort of Ritalin type drugs. And man, it was it has been awesome, but the problem is my stomach was really bothering me, so I stopped taking it. Then I started it again because I realized I'm just, I just feel so much more together with it. Uh, and that worked great. And then one day I realized, hey, it's, uh, it's three in the morning and I can't fall asleep. And then the same thing the next night. I went like, like 48 hours without sleeping, it seemed. I'm sure I had fallen asleep sometime. So I stopped taking it because it's a stimulant, but then I figured out a couple of days ago, wait a second here, I need this to be at my best. And I gotta find a way to work around it because it works so well for me. And I figured, okay, well, you know, since I wake up at 4.30 in the morning and I'm on the air at 6 a.m., why not take the pill at 6 a.m.? It should have worn off before the evening came around. So I did that and boom, one day, two days, three awesome days, all, I, I'm sure, because we live in 2019 and there's medications that I can take that, uh, that deal with anxiety and depression and uh, ADHD. And uh, yeah, you know what? I may not sleep tonight. And you know what? My stomach's not feeling that good, but I feel good. It has an effect for sure on my depression as well. I feel really good and I'm really lucky that there's things that I can use to treat this, but it's also attitude, right? I will do anything to feel better. I will do anything to try to uh, deal with mental illness. Because if you don't feel good mentally, then nothing is good. And I kind of look at anything that you trade off to get there is a good deal. Sicknotweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because somebody's got to tell you, you know what? You got to fight. Do whatever it takes. Or as uh, I'm trying to think of what this was attached to. As soon as I say it, you just cut. Okay, Case? by any means necessary.